Uh, we're all grateful to have you here this evening. Thank you for coming out to the Circus of Wonder. My name is Cornelius Bladdywick, ringmaster extraordinaire, and I believe you've already met my partner in this crazy show of ours, our clown from another town, Dewey. <laughs> Oh, forget it. Sometimes. Well, now, before we get things started, just by a show of hands, who's been to the circus before? Anyone? Oh, you have. You have over there, yes? Yes, yes, Dewey, I know you have. As well as I. Yes, yes, indeed. Wait, you stop that. Now, we pack up our lives in trunks and suitcases, and we put them all in a little tiny train, and we travel all around the country to bring you acts from all four corners of the globe. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yes, Dewey. Those things that will fit upon our train, of course. Uh, and <clears throat> I must say, today is a very special day because today is the day we bring the circus to Calico. <laughs> and I must tell you, in all my travels, this is by far the most attractive town I've ever seen before. I'll tell you, one bite of Cordelia's boys in dairy pie, and I'll tell this. I'm in love. <laughs> and the one thing that we, we, oh, what's going on over there? Dewey, stay away from my cannon. Got it? What's up? Oh. Oh. Get it! Dewey! 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 I believe I lost control of my circus. <laughs> ah, Dewey. All right now, without further ado. And now I present to you a woman banished by her country, a woman scorned by her people, a woman whose beauty and art of seduction can burn a man's soul. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for a fiery, fierce phenom of flame, Jezebel.
out, do we? We don't need the water anymore. The fire's been put out. Now go away. What's up? <laughs> Wasn't she amazing? Wasn't she just beautiful? Lucinda, <laughs> you're just as beautiful and extravagant and gorgeous as Jezebel, but in your own way. Ladies and gentlemen, have I introduced you to Lucinda, our pachyderm. <laughs> Lucinda, what, what's wrong, my love? Are, are, are you hungry? Do, do it. Maybe she wants a peanut. Give her a peanut. She likes peanuts. She does indeed. No? No peanuts, Lucinda. Oh, who could it be? Oh, maybe she wants some cotton candy. That is her favorite. That is her favorite. She does love cotton candy. <laughs> yes? Easy, easy, do it, easy. No? No. What could it be? Oh, I think I know what it is. Do we? Maybe she just wants a hug. Ah, ah. Everyone loves a hug. Find someone who wants to give her a hug. Who out there would like to give Lucinda a hug? Oh, that young lad right there. Well done. Easy, boy, easy. Give Lucinda a nice big hug. Oh, yes. Yeah. Look at that. You got her all laid up there. And she's so happy. You, my boy, are an honorary elephant trainer now. <laughs> you see, Dewey, I should have known. Who doesn't like a hug, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, and now I bring to you a woman who can fit in anywhere she goes. Put your hands together for Lady Phoenix. circus business for many, many, many years. And I've seen many, many types of acts, everything from flying trapeze to tap dancing monkeys paying the ukulele, yes. But the one act that's always amazed me is the act of human kindness. Ha <laughs> ha, there we are, bye bye. Yeah. They call it the milk of human kindness because it feeds us, sort of like Gives you a really warm feeling inside, like the way we perform for you up here on stage, and you feed us by giving us your applause, yes? Now, let me tell you a story. A long, long time ago, when I was about five or six years old, I was out wandering on the outskirts of town, and my father told me to be careful and not stray too far from the road. 
But I was too deep in thought, thinking and pondering how big the world must be outside of my small little town. Now, as I was walking and thinking, and thinking and walking, well, <laughs> I should listen to my father because before I knew it, nothing around me looked familiar, and I was lost. So I got scared because the sun was starting to set, and I began to cry. Well, I found a little park bench here, and I sat down and just weeped and cried and cried and weeped. And after a while, I felt a hand on my shoulder and I looked up and there was a man standing there with a tall hat on his head. And he looked down at me and he said, Fear not, my boy. Only a person without purpose is truly scared and lost. Well, after that, he began to tell me a story about someone who traveled the world all by themselves, training lions and tigers and breathing fire and entertaining thousands upon thousands of people all over the world. Well. I must tell you, my eyes were peeled back with excitement. And as we walked and talked, and talked and walked, and he told me more about this story, before we knew it, well, we were back in the center of town. And I asked him, I said, what happened to this person? Then he reached into his pocket, and he pulled out this poster, and then walked away. Well, quickly, I unrolled the poster to see what was on it, and on it was, a man in a top hat wearing a red coat and I realized it was him it was his story and this was his circus of wonder <laughs> now that was just a simple act an act of kindness to help the young scared boy not be scared anymore and it's something I will never ever forget for the rest of my life <laughs> boy What's your name? Jason. Well, Jason, I would like for you to have this. So then maybe one day, you may run away and join the circus. <laughs> Take care, Jason, bye-bye. <laughs>
and gentlemen, mesdames and messieurs, and now I present to you an act that is an inspiration to us all. This man aims for the sky and shoots for the stars. Folks, this act is not for those with a faint heart or a short fuse. Witness a man whose act takes hair trigger timing and precision. You are about to witness a man stuffed himself into a tiny tube of terror and then launch himself across our tent to the target yonder. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Bonard the Bullet! <laughs> Jezebel, if you please, count down with me. Three, two, one! There he is! Dewey? Dewey! <laughs> Hello, Dewey! Well done! How'd that happen? Well, uh, well now, ladies and gentlemen, this next act truly is his life on the edge. He balances between life and death. Prepare yourselves, folks, for Sir 